Here we are at uh, Wash and Wheels, and this is the aftermath of uh, uh, the Bali Muslim uh, Muslim luncheon for the Muslim corporates, uh, which has been uh, organized at uh, Wash and Wheels. And uh, as we speak now, uh, we are sharing on how was the luncheon uh, with our sister here, uh, what did she benefit, and what are some of the recommendations for the next uh, luncheon. Thank you very much. This is Nape Azida. I'm a businesswoman. I'm also a politician and I represent the female youth of Mbale City and the National Youth Council. I'm privileged to have been part of this luncheon and personally I benefited. First, the topics selected were really on point. We had business we talked about business and business opportunities, which I really feel everyone needed this information out there. Because where we are in with the unemployment at a very high rate, I think we all needed to be here to get the knowledge on the different business opportunities and to appreciate Uganda as a country. Because we have so many opportunities that have not been tapped in as a country, which people are naive and you don't know about them. The other topic was marriage. And they, were, they talked about who is a husband and who is a wife, which was a very, very interesting topic. Because people are going into, into courtship and calling it marriage, which wasn't the case. And we got to learn that today, that for you want to be a husband, and want to be called the wife, they have to be legally married. Thank you. Good. Now, according to your observation, in the topics that you had, there was a gentleman called uh, Obilan who discussed about uh, uh, the, the caliber of a Muslim leader and his life. And then he dwelled so much on Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. Uh, in, your, in your own words, what is your guidance in as far as the marriage issues as concerned if the mosque is to get involved. Thank you very much. I think if the mosque is to get involved in marriages, first they should talk about marriage. What is marriage? Who are the rightful people to get married? And how can one get married? Because the society we are living in now, people are going into courtship and they don't know what marriage is and they the, as the Muslim Supreme Council it has to emphasize it has to emphasize on the marches so that they, they pass out the communication on who should get married how people should do it and what should be done when they are married okay but it has been so rampage that uh, many Muslim men are going in with non-Muslim women. What could be the reason? I think Muslim men, many Muslim men are going in for non-Muslim girls because the, first of all, they have already exposed their bodies and I think they find that attractive to them. Probably the, you know very well, for a Muslim girl, just the one breast, a hijab alone costs like 250, 300. And for a Muslim man to be a responsible husband, he has to buy me hijabs. Of which the trends now, we cannot put on two or three hijabs. We have to have men to give you that respect as a man or a husband. So I think that's why Muslim men are preferring, preferably going for non-Muslim girls, because they're cheaper. First of all, if you look at the Muslim culture, we have to get nikah, which is the Muslim wedding, as a woman. So, and every man is required to marry officially for you to be called a husband. You must marry officially, and this particular wife is given mahal, which mahal I request for what I want as a woman. So I think the Muslim men are going for a cheaper way 
and for the quickest means, which are favoring them, okay. that's marrying the non-Muslim girls. Do, do, do you think that the girls are also finding the same problem to get married to non-Muslim men? I think now the, the girls, most people who are approaching are the non-Muslim men who are approaching. But then the problem is they also don't want to convert to Islam. And yet back home, if I've been brought in a Muslim society, my parents would be like, you must bring a Muslim man. And which men are going in for cheaper girls. So that is where we are going wrong. We don't know how Muslim, the Muslim community, we don't know how the Supreme Council can help. We don't know how the mosques can come in in this. In conclusion, if you were given chance and uh, you are the Amir of a mosque, which guidance would you give to families? Thank you. I, would, I think I would advise most families. I would advise most of the families to bring up the girl child and the male child, teaching them on the benefits of marrying a fellow Muslim. One, it's easier because you all understand the religion so well. Thus, the children you're going to bring unto the world, you'll bring them together as Muslims. Which is again hard if a non-Muslim married a Muslim person. Because you're two different religions. Two different religions. So I, I believe it's even, it's even hard to bring the belief affiliations together. Because you're too in you're in different worlds. Thank you. Abshir, إخواننا الذين يستمعون على حق قبلة فالأخت أزيدة فإنها أخبرتنا أنها هي هي متزوجة وإنها متعرضة فهي تاجرة فهي تتاجر وعندها عندها ماله فسألناها ما رأيها وماذا انتفع في هذه المجتمع فقالت أنها انتفعت وهي تسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن نكون بمثل هذه الجمعيات مرة سألناها لماذا المسلمون الرجال ينتمون كثيرا إلى النساء غير المسلمات فقالت لعلهم لا يريدون أن يعتوا المهر ولا يريدون أن يذهبوا إلى أهل, أهل النساء فإنهم يريدون أن يجدوا أي رجل أن شاء أي, أي امرأة أن شاء فإنهم يأخذونها فسألتها سؤالا فلماذا البنات المسلمون ينتمون كثيرا إلى الرجال غير مسلمين فهي تقول أن الأهل والآباء لا يعملون أعمالهم فسألتها لو أعطيت فرصة وأنك أنت رئيسة للنساء ماذا يمكن ترشد الآباء فإنها في كلمتها اللذيذة والبسيطة هي رشدت أن الآباء والأهل والأسر من المفروض أي أن يدرسوا ويعلموا ويدربوا أهلهم وأولادهم وبناتهم ليعلموا دينهم حتى إن كانوا إن كانوا يتزوجون فيعرفون من حيث يذهبون. Our Muslim brothers and sisters in Islam. Tuagara okwebaza mugana fe azida. Tuwade kumkorogno inga tumbuzo vanga ganyudwam agami tuno aganyudwamu elaye baza kuvanga topics zogedwa zibadiza vuna nizwa. Ragami tuno topics zobe biyoku somi misobe kikwada gana kuvintu ya business ino muntu chasubu lo kuvela anti ya kore dawo ngi kikwada gana kuzaka kikwada gana kubufumbo netumu buzi anti goro zaburi acha baami baagara nyoku wasa abawara abatariba silam anti anti abawara abatariba silam tabia ina bokuwa kuzobuunji bo woba sangu da woba tuarida tibeta gisa gena kwa zatiba ba mangu tibeta gisa kuvela anto ba wama hari ataba sija tiba gara ba vuna nizwa insani zinu nika chivudo la bantu naba gena bugenz netumu buzi anti na iru acha abawara bafumbi wa abamia batari ba silam nti hanti kaka tibo lugo gap edi wo wakati wa ba na bopo wala ngabali makaga wewe nga tiba sana sebwa o kuvela anti ba manyo bopo vuna nizwa no bopo no bobi o bopo fumbi wa mungu batari ba silam nga anti nanti abantu abasa jia abasa singo bungi abo gira kwe dia abo wala abo abo wala ba silam ba bera si ba silam ni ba maridi zanga ba fumbi dua netumu buzi chibuzo ni singa ba bade ba kuwa dogo kulunga gua amira ba muziki tu gona wandi ba dogo abroatia 
sister of fat gamba bi mti nandi badenga mpaka ko kubera nti music tujibera involved ba mama ku bantu bateka teke emisomo abazadde bategera obuvunanyizwa bwabwe tusomesa abana basubira kubera nti bategera ito kufumbira atali muislam si cha buvunanyizwa twagala kumaliriza ibigambo bino ngatukubiriza buli chisi yenna abadde mukoro guno oba abadde mlancho nyeno nti omulundo mulala twagala kubuza mama wafe nti topic endala twandi badenga tuisa abantu okujja yandi badde topic chi na yenga twagala okwebaza buli chisi mbaddewo nga tusaba ochitibwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nti buli abadde musomo guno abiringa ina muko chaize mama oroza topic singa tubadde tese tese omukusoku musomo omulala twandi tese tese nga tugenda wa era twandi ogedde kuchi chola byenga chikuru nyo kuchiddamu atena ne audience chi I think to kongera eya ndibadde yomugaso okugera ku ebintu nga byabufuzi kuba wakati nuli lakati abasiramu tetwetanidde nnyo mu bufuzi atenga omuntu yena yena olina kutanira mu bufuzi okumanya government etambulecha otukirira oti abantu ate olina otukozesa obufuzi obotukirira ku bantu nga abanji I think topic in politics bandi badenga abaji consideringa بارك الله فيكم جزاكم الله خير نبدي قاسم شعيب عبد الخالق مغومبي وروا قبله اسلاميك ميديا قبله اسلاميك ميديا